I'll, I'll kind of shift gears here from the binaural and show, show how it addresses some of these problems, is in the integral recovery uh, model, we say that if you don't go back and deal with the causative uh, factors that started you using in the first place, that your chances for long-term sobriety and, and increased health and uh, this whole uh, evolution that we talk about are not very good. So what are some of the issues that we, um, that we go back and deal with? First of all, it's just bad brain chemistry. You know, some of us just have genetic um, inheritance of unbalanced brain. We have low serotonin, low do dopamine, too much cortisol, too much norepinephrine, too much anxiety. And so you feel like crap. You know, you feel depressed with anxiety or just depressed or just anxious or whatever it is. And so you, you take a drink, you have a beer, you take a shot of tequila and immediately you feel relief. And so you start, you start uh, using substances to self-medicate and you're off to the races. And if you're, you have the potential to become an addict, then you become dependent on these substances. Um, so there's, there's just bad brain chemistry. There's uh, unresolved trauma from the past. It's hugely big in, in my years and years of working in the, the therapeutic wilderness industry, especially in, in, the, in the young, young uh, women's groups. You know, we, we start talking about, you know, who had been victimized or abused, and it's almost 100%. And occasionally there was somebody who didn't have that, and all the girls, oh, that's so wonderful, <laughs> you know, because you know, the, 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 the uh, abuse, um, the rape, child abuse, all that stuff, is, it, you find a lot of that, and, and it just it scars and wounds a person on a deep level. It goes on with men, too, not just women, or not just uh, boys, not just girls. And uh, that makes you, that, that, that becomes a trauma that you split off because it's too painful to confront. But those, those, those traumas that reside in our unconscious are not, they may be out of sight and out of mind, but they're not out of control. And they create, they create anger and depression and, and self-destructive uh, activities and, and uh, you feel bad. So you start using substances to feel better. And again, initially, it works very well. You go to church, nothing. You know, take a shot of tequila. Wow, you know, Jesus doesn't work, but tequila does. I mean, you know, that's, that's the way it framed. I'm not saying that Jesus doesn't work, by the way. I'm just saying often church poor people don't transform some church maybe not your church anyway so um so we deal with, with the the unresolved trauma also there are negative narrative stories about yourself and about reality oh i'm not good looking enough i'm not smart enough i'm ugly i'm stupid i don't have any talent i'm worthless the world's unfair i'll never make it you know i deserve all this suffering these kind of narrative stories uh, can really cause you to feel like crap and make you want to uh, get out of your brain and feel better. So that's another thing. So in, the, in this deep meditational practice that we now have available to everyone, not just to, to monks and nuns and people who have somehow the, the, the strength, fortitude, or grace to practice for many, many, many years every day, uh, we can start looking at these stories as an objective thing from this, this greater capacity to witness and go, ooh, that's a really yucky story. And it makes me feel really bad and it makes me really function poorly in the world. Why don't I come up with a better story? And you can actually start creatively doing that and letting go of the old stuff. It's really cool. So um, another thing is just the inability to deal with stress, day-to-day -day living. Uh, uh, they say in addicts, they have this high excitability um, level. In other words, things that were just normal, uh, normal people, normies, you know, they call them, would, would take in stride, like the flat tire, or being late, or you know, being... You know, somebody says something unkind or cutting or whatever the, the, the particular stress would just, you know, we kind of can shrug it off. Well, addict, it really causes a lot of stress and it starts, uh, the, their threshold for stress is very low, okay? So they just, uh, I mean, the complexity of living in the postmodern world, as we all know, paying taxes, having a job, <laughs> working a computer, keeping your car going, paying your, you know, insurance bills, just the whole thing is hugely difficult. It takes you know many many balls one at the same time, so the stress threshold is very low, and and, and it starts it, they start to treat that stress with substances, and then it just turns around, and the stress itself causes um, causes um, the cravings in the brain, and then the cycle keeps going, or maybe not up, keeps going down, and what happens very quickly in this this deep meditative process facilitated by this binaural technology, Holosync and others, is that the threshold of stress starts going up. 
So the things that used to bother you here, here's your thresholds here, don't bother me. Doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. hmm. So that's hugely important and useful in treating addiction because you're, you're much less susceptible to relapse because the things that used to get the brain going and stressful just don't bother you so much because the brain has really begun to transform and function at a higher level and the, and, and the little things don't throw you off and even the big things don't throw you off. You become very resilient emotionally very quickly so that's extremely useful.